Hey guys, Mike Grady here. Day number 29 of the ClickFunnels One Funnel Builder Challenge. And now that we've got our products in place, we've got our funnel all built out, now we need to start driving traffic. So one of the strategies that I learned from Russell was what he calls the Dream 100, which he got from Chet Holmes, who's uh, one of the best uh, marketers of the last probably 50 years. And he came up with the Dream 100 through his uh, experiences working with different products and services, different industries, being a consultant to uh, over 60% of the Fortune 500 companies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through that with you. But what I will, will do uh, with you is Russell goes through and gives kind of a 30,000 view, 30,000 foot view of the Dream 100 strategy that Chet invented. What I did is I actually went out and bought Chet's book ultimate sales machine and I would highly recommend you go to Amazon and get that book for yourself so you can actually go and get more detail about the dream 100 because I'm going to tell you what I learned but I can absolutely tell you that um, I got the idea from Russell but then I went and actually got the book and listened to it over the last four days took a lot of notes and basically what it is is you want to go out and find the people that are your dream 100. You're not gonna go out and look for 20,000 different people for your business. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. Somebody is your dream customer. Now, what Chet did is he could, he could take a look at any industry, any product, and then he goes and takes a look at who are the top 100 people that would buy this product. And if you're selling a physical product like we do in the fishing industry, we're actually looking at big retailers. West Marine is our biggest retailer, but we look at Bass Pro Shops, we look at Walmart, we look at Gander Mountain, we take a look at a lot of regional distributors, people that have large audiences that come to their businesses. So basically what we're doing is we're looking at finding the people that control the audiences that we want to sell to. Again, with large companies, with retailers, that's very easy, especially with someplace like Bass Pro Shops with 60 of their own stores, plus they just bought uh, Cabela's two years ago. So now they're probably up over 100 stores. And then what we could do is we could actually try to sell with a philosophy of one-to-one. -one. So in other words, we go out, we do research, and we find out who is the buyer in our particular case for marine pro marine products, we find out who that buyer is, and then we start marketing them through a process. Now, what most people do in, we're talking about 90% of all salespeople will make one phone call, and if the person says no, they never call them again. Big mistake. Something I've done in my entire sales career, even before I started my own company, when I was a salesperson working in the news industry, is I knew that marketing was more about a campaign. And I knew that 90% of salespeople never make a follow-up phone call. Now, I'm not talking about a follow-up phone call that somebody said, oh yeah, I like your product, call me next week. No, no, I'm talking about somebody who flat out says no. What I did is I put them onto a list because I knew they were gonna a buyer, I knew that my product was good for them, and I would call them every single month. And I can tell you that over time, when you call the same person and you pitch your wares every single month, after the fifth month and the sixth month of the person telling you no, 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 no. As a person, they're gonna start feeling bad for you. And because you're persistent, you're, you're separating yourself out from everybody else that calls on them because they're trained to say no the first time. So what I did when I was selling one-to-one -one is I would call people first every month. It was part of my, my marketing process when I was in sales and I call them. And what happens after somebody tells you no six or seven times is all of a sudden they start going, you know what? Hey, this guy's persistent. I might need to start giving him some business. And eventually that person will start doing business with you. Or the company that you want to replace will screw up, provide bad service, do something wrong, and that customer will be looking for a new provider. Even if they, they're happy with their provider, they may give you a shot. Or if they're not happy with their provider because they're not getting the customer service or they just wanna make a change, there might be three or four other people calling on them, but because you call them every single month and you take a note every single month, you're gonna be the first person that they think of because you're top of mind. So that's how we sell one-to-one. -one. Now the process is you can send them a letter and then you follow up that letter. Now what we have found, and I've found this 
in our market, in the fishing market, I've found it in the real estate business, I've found it in lots of different things that we do, is a concept called lumpy mail. And what it is, is you can go and buy little gifts for people, like a compass, or you can buy a Rubik's Cube, or you can buy a, a flashlight. And these things, you can get them like 100 for $50, that sort of thing. And what you do is you can pick out your Dream 100 list, and now when you send that second package to somebody, then you actually put that gift inside for the person with a sales letter that ties in that gift. Like if you send them a Rubik's Cube, your headline can be, are you puzzled with the sales you're having and why they're not growing? So it's a benefit to that person, but then they also have this little gift. And of course you send that gift and then you follow that gift up uh, after it's been mailed out and you know they've received it with a phone call. And a per the person will say no to you. And over time, each month you send a different gift with a different sales letter with a different theme for that gift. Like a flashlight, let's, let's shine the light on your, on your sales. That sort of thing, and then you follow it up two things will start to happen. One, you're completely separating yourself out from every other person that's calling on them. Next is now they have something tangible. And if it's a cool gift, like a tiny little Rubik's Cube or a flashlight or something like that, they're not gonna just throw it away like, like they would with a letter. They'll take that thing and they'll put it on their desk. And when they're talking to somebody on the phone, they start fidgeting with it and they remember who you are. So that's how you create top of mind awareness with that particular person that you're trying to sell your product to. And over time, especially when they get five and six and seven, literally these tiny little gifts that don't cost you very much on their desk, they're gonna to start to think of you before anybody else. So that's a strategy if you've got a product where you're selling business to business, where you need to contact one person in an organization. Now what I would highly recommend is don't go after small companies. What you wanna do is you wanna use a strategy for companies that are bigger that can sign big contracts with you and big checks. That way it makes it worth your while because then you get one contract and it pays all your marketing for the entire year. Now, one of the things we can do, especially with ClickFunnels or with information products, instead of selling one-to-one, -one, we can now sell one-to-many. Now, how do we sell one-to-many? Well, with a physical product, we're looking to get into stores, large chains of stores, because they have a large uh, customer base. When it comes to information products, who on the internet has a large following, a large audience of people that might be able to buy your product? And then what we can do is we make a list of those people on Facebook, on YouTube. How many people have 200,000 followers on YouTube? How many people are on Instagram? How many people have you know, 200, 300,000 followers on Facebook, or even 10,000 followers on Facebook. And then what we can do is we can actually put those people on your Dream 100 list, and we start the exact same process. We send a letter to them, make a phone call. They say no. Next month, we send another gift to them. We place a phone call. They say no. Next month, we send another gift to them. We place a phone call. They say, no, but I really like what you're doing. Next month, we send them another gift. We place another phone call and they're like, you know what, I just had a cancellation, are you available? And what'll end up happening, especially with people who, who do podcasting and people that are looking and doing interviews that have big uh, audiences, is they're constantly looking for new content. They're constantly looking for new things that their people wanna listen to. And really what we found with podcasters is they're more than happy to interview people. And what you gotta be concerned with is, if they don't have a big audience, don't worry about it because it's great practice. And you don't know who's gonna, the smaller podcaster guys might even have a more niched market. So that being said, what you wanna do is you wanna create your dream 100 list by taking out a sheet of paper, we do it on an Excel spreadsheet, and we pick out a niche. In the fishing niche, we actually go down through the freshwater guys and who's on Facebook, who has a following of over 5,000 people, and we make a, make a list of those people. In the saltwater market, who do we make a list of? We make a list of, of people that are, have followers of five or 10,000 people on Facebook. We go to YouTube, we go to Instagram, we go to LinkedIn, we go to all these different sources and for each one, we make a list of the top 100 people and then we go through the same process for each one of those lists. And that way, when you get on those programs, when you're able to uh, see who those people are, especially on Facebook, you can ask them to promote your product and if they won't do that, you can also target advertising to that particular person and they can start, the people that watch them can start seeing your ads and that sort of thing. You can be interviewed on podcasts. 
And what ends up happening is once somebody interview you, interviews you, and when we do our podcast, we always give the uh, interviewee the uh, ability to promote a product or service that they represent at the end of the podcast. So there's a little bit of a plug at the end. And everybody who interviews you will do the same thing for you. So you want to have your link ready and available so that people can go and get a free gift from you. Of course, then you can start building your list with what we've talked about. So hopefully that'll give you a little bit more information about the Dream 100, how Russell uses it, how I use it, and how we've had a lot of success in getting into niche markets. And all of this is very inexpensive uh, when you start looking at buying widgets once a month that really cost you anywhere from $50 to $100. You put together the same uh, sales letter, you send it out to the person, and you make a phone call. And you just do that every single month. And the thing that Chet Holmes talks about in his book is what he calls pig-headed determination. Use this process over and over and over every single month. And where you'll separate yourself out from everybody else is when you do it every single month. Don't do it for one month or two months or three months and not get any results and quit because you're going the 99 yards and you just got to go one more yard. So what you want to do is you want to do it consistently every single month, whether somebody buys something from you or not, because you're building brand recognition and when people need you, you're going to be top of mind. So what Charlie, uh, what Chet said is pig headed determination, make it part of your marketing program and do it every single month and you will explode your business.